Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Last time we went and found uh, Vivi and Steiner and they got poisoned and we healed them slightly. And then we decided to go save the princess. And uh, this time around we are going to be going and uh, seeing the boss and hopefully getting out of here. There's a couple of items you can pick up around here though. Um, down here you can pick up an ether. Actually, I think there, there's a lot of items around here you can pick up. Um, over here, you can find a rubber helmet. Um, down here, you will find... Over here, a treasure chest with a leather hat. Um, can you equip... Oh, we're already weather wearing a leather hat. That's nice. Giving equips that we already have. Out here is just the outside. Um, I don't think there's anything else out there. Okay. Anyways, if you go out in this direction... Ah! Ah, Jew! Took you long enough. I fell asleep, darn it! So you're leaving, eh? Yeah, I promised guarded I'd kidnap her. <laughs> I didn't ask you why. I can't blame you, though. She's damn beautiful. I guess that's reason enough. Well, I hope you're ready, because I'm going to bust you up for breaking the rules. All right. Okay, get your butt over to the cargo room. We're, we're, um, yeah, get your butt over to the cargo room. Anyways, down here, before you rush over there, we find another potion. And, um, okay, let's go fight him. Let's go, oh, whoops, I just gave it away. Oh, well, yep, okay, let's do this. Anytime. I ain't holding back. And here comes another boss fight versus Baku, except this time we're all alone. So this is another reason why, like, leveling up was decent, because now we're going to survive a little bit longer without having to heal. Especially since he has a couple of things you want to steal here. Including that iron sword, which is awesome, because that's a weapon for Steiner. Since we just stole his iron sword, so shouldn't he be not holding one? Man, I'm stealing good today. Although I think the high, the, it's very high steal rates on these guys. Anyways, kill him. Death. Gahaha, <laughs> that tickles. Come on. This is, uh, that's the one thing about this game. It's a little slow in the uh, times, in my opinion. Got to fight better than that. What are you talking about? I think you have eight hit points left or something like that. I can't remember if it was 190. It was if it was 92 in the first one or not. Ah ha! You tripped. You suck. Bam. All right, you win. Pink bearded man. He looks weird. I'll be damned. Bravo! <laughs> Go find your princess. <laughs> Damn, that hurt. He pulled his punches till that last one. Yep. Way to go, Zane. Unlock the storage room so you're able to free. You're free to talk to the knight. Yep. So we go up here and we go talk to the knight, A.K.A. Steiner. Da -da 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 Come on, you're too old to be playing with a doll. Silence! A scoundrel like you could never understand. I'm just overwhelmed with concern for the princess. If only you rogues hadn't kidnapped her, this is all your fault. If anything should happen to the princess, I will have your head. Take it easy, jeez. I'm gonna go look for her now. I'll let you come with me if you promise to be good. What do you say, Rusty? R Rusty? I'm Albert Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto, and I will never work with your convening, conniving thieves. Captain, I figured you were a private with that cheap rusty armor. Look, this has nothing to do with Tauntless. This is it's something I decided to do on my own. I just want to save Garnet. <laughs> you had better not be lying. Because if you are, I won't hesitate to kill you. Yeah, yeah, I'm counting on you, Rusty. Make no mistake. I'm going to deal I'm only going to be with you to rescue the princess. I will deal with you personally when it's over. Whatever. 
may be difficult with just the two of us. We should seek Master Vivi's help as well. Why are you calling him Master? You fool! That black mage has unima unimaginable powers! Unimaginable powers! I don't want to get want him to... Uh, I don't want to get him involved, but alas, it can't be helped. We need Master Vivi's powers to rescue the princess. Alright, let's go talk to Vivi. I was going to go ask him anyway. Vivi rules! Anyways, before you leave, go back in. There'll be a little treasure chest over here. Which has been taunting me in all the scenes over here. I think that is it. Oh, look. Oh, the poor instruments. The timpani! No! The bass drum! The... Um... I want to say that's an organ. I want to say that's an organ, but I don't know. Oh, there's a guitar or a cello case or something there. Okay. Um... This way. Yes. Okay, I remember. I got my bearings back. Over here. Well, Vivi, we're ready to go look for the princess. Really? That's great. Be careful, okay? Actually, we want you to come with us, too. Huh? But I can't do anything. Hardly, Master Vivi. Your magic was highly effective against that monster. In all honesty, I hold your power in great es greater esteem than I do the scoundrels. But, but I'm scared. I couldn't even move last time. Please, Master Vivi. For the sake of Princess Garnet and all of Alexandria, I humbly request your assistance. Come on, you're a black mage for crying out loud. Show us what you've got. All right, let's get going. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, Master Vivi. Master Vivi? Yeah? It's about your black magic. I want to try an experiment. I was wondering if... Whisper, whisper. Hush, hush. Magic sword? Okay, I'll give it a try. Excellent. We just got Steiner's second ability slot filled. Yep. Whenever Vivi and Steiner are in the party together, they get an interesting ability, which I'll show in the next fight I get here. Uh, anyways, start heading out here. Jeez, you're really digging her, huh? Can't, uh, can't sit around knowing girl's in trouble. Goes against my nature. Whatever, you're full of crap. Ooh, I get it. You're jealous that I'm going to get me a sweetie pie. Psh, she's not even my type. I came here to give you this. You're always thinking about me. I won't need a love potion to reel this one in. Why don't you get your mind off girls for a second? This is the medicine I gave to that black mage in the night. It's sort of like a seed remover. Cool. Does this really come in handy? Why am I always helping you? Receive Blank's medicine. Oh yeah, here's a little tip from the boss. Don't forget to set your abilities. I've already talked about the abilities. How do you set abilities again? How do you fit together? Yeah, I've already told that. How about now? Oh yeah. Said something about help. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to save here quickly, so just a second. Epic book pulling out of the assery! Backflip. Okay, so uh, here now, Sita, since we're out of the thing, we asked, he has to charge us. They're out of Tantalus now, apparently. Uh, you can buy items from him. Uh, I would recommend buying some antidotes and uh, some eye drops here, because the next, the next major fight uh, has some dark-inducing dark attacks. And, uh, some potions doesn't help either. Or, can't hurt. Potions actually definitely help. Anyways, just like we did before with the other party members, I'm going to do a little bit of training to get my guys up a couple levels, because the next boss can act is actually pretty powerful, like, considering the low stats of our characters right now. Like, the other two are only level 1 as well, I believe. I think, yeah, Steiner and Vivi, I think, are only level 1 as well. So, uh, yeah, it would be a good idea to actually get them some levels here. Um, so here I'm going to show off Steiner's new ability. I'll just steal with his name for now. Uh, so he's full potion. Cool. Um, okay, we're going to wait for Steiner. So Steiner has sword magic now. So basically, when he casts one, he uses up uh, his own MP, Vivi charges his sword, and that spell is used. The list of spells that he's able to cast, like the, the uh, of abilities he's able to use, depends on what Vivi knows. So right now, Vivi only knows fire, so he's only able to use the fire sword. And uh, here, I'm going to actually change up some equipment, because we gained some items here. And I didn't even see the map there. Okay, so he's learning fire. We are going to change this up to leather wrist, which has blizzard, and the silk shirt, which has thunder. So he's got more skills to learn now. Um, antibody is, uh, he's got some really good stuff here. Minus Strike is a, his own skill that, that attack, um, it, it d deals damage, uh, the maximum, his max HP minus the current HP he has, that's the amount of damage it will deal. Um, it's a, it's good skill, but not until later in the game when you actually get up to the thousands of health. 
because then you can do a lot of damage. Um, but for now, Bird Killer, Bug Killer improves the, and Beast Killer, it just improves damage against those types. Antibody stops all poison and venom. Uh, he's got nothing, I don't think he has anything either, no, he's just learning, uh, Fire Blizzard and Thunder right now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do just a little bit of training here, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I'm level, I'm still level 2, but I'm like one fight away from level 3, so I'm just going to keep moving on. I'll fight another random battle eventually. Ooh, active time event. Orchestra in the forest. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's really live in this place. Yeah, let our music do the fighting against those monsters. This ought to boost morale. This is great. Brum, brum, bump, brum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. Oh, good old Final Fantasy VII music. Hey, not bad. I'm gonna take a look around. Stay on your toes. We'll be leaving soon. All right. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Okay, boss. Brum. Oh, good old fanfare type music. It's a good song. Final Fantasy VII for the win. Anyway, I'm gonna keep moving on forward here. And uh, forward again. Yay! Random battle! Alrighty, now that that thing is done and over with, keep moving on ahead. This game's gonna be kind of interesting with all the random battles. Hey, a Moogle! Kapow! Hmm, no sign of any monsters here. Excellent! <clears throat> and a spring. Active time event. Do as I say, not as I do. You sure about this? Yeah, don't worry. We'll be out of here soon, too. Here, take this map. It's going to be a long trip back to Lindblom. All right, I'll see you later. I'm counting on you. Hmm, something is up. I wonder what Blank is supposed to be doing now. So if you go up to the spring here... You can take a quick drink and uh, you'll regain your HP and MP, which is good. And over here we have a Monty and Magnet. We get to deliver a letter to Monty. Uh, I think we run us up to something and I suspect Crimson's Garden it even more. Then she does. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, I just re received a letter from Stiltskin. Let's read it together. Yay, Stiltskin! Uh, he's in a very cold place. It's really strange. It wasn't like this last time he came here. Oh well. Oh, okay, so he has nothing to do now. Uh, I'm not going to really be paying attention to the Moogle letters just because I don't want to. Um, I'm just going to... They just give you items and whatnot. They're just usually at random. Randomness like that. Anyways, before you move on into the next area, I would recommend equipping silk shirts on anybody that can actually use them because silk shirt, uh, certain weapons and armor have added effects on them. Like his uh, broadsword doesn't have anything. If you hit the select button, you can bring this help menu up. But uh, the bronze helmet uh, reduces the damage from water half, wind half there. Um, but the silk shirt, uh, which is only equipped on him, unfortunately, I only have the one. I guess. Uh, reduces the thunder damage by half, and the next boss has some thunder uh, elemental attacks, so. Um, okay, I guess since I only have the one, I'm only going to use it on him. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, next time we are going to move on to the next area and get our next boss fight, so I guess I shall see you guys then. See ya.